guys, Chandler here from Podium and Racing, and if you saw on our Instagram, we promised a full in-depth overview of the new 60 OF Cessna Flight Simulator. So right now, we're in our client's private hangar. So Zach, I'll have you show. We just installed the Cirrus SR22, so if you haven't seen that video, you can check it out, it's on our channel. But for this video, we're gonna go over, again, 60 OF, so the cube expire. We've got the seat belt tensioner, so peak line right now, can actually feel these things pulling them with the G. So if he pulled the throttle back, put his flaps down, you feel a little tug, and it just helps with the immersion. For this system, we started out with the triple 55 Samsung Larts, but then upgraded to the triple 75 Samsung 4K OLED displays for a couple of reasons. One, this is a dedicated Cessna sim, and so Cessna cockpits are a lot more squared off than say the Cirrus that has the triple 55 arcs. Also, the real Gear panel on the Cubic 60 of platform, we need an extra width to kind of get around and get it how we wanted it. So that way, the screens are behind the pilot's eyes. And the big reason that we want that is because again, full immersion. So I'll keep the lights on for the video, but just to show when the lights are off, I mean, Pete is fully immersed right now in this flight sim. So let's go over some of the components. So we've got throttle, prop push, our mix, all that good stuff. Now right now he's in the 172, so he doesn't have the prop push. You also see we've got parking brake, gear, flaps. We've got the rudder trim, aileron trim, and obviously our nose, which the cool thing about this is I'm gonna put it on autopilot real quick, Pete. So let me just put it in heading mode. So I'm gonna hit forward heading here. We're gonna go AP. Are right, you gonna let go? You'll see it is an auto trim, just like in the real plane which is super, super cool. So again, one-to-one -one is possible. Then I'll take auto highlight off for you, Pete, and be quiet. We've got our magnetic remote re, so he can have full keyboard, you know, if he wants to pause it, he will hit escape, get back in the plane, and it's always right here. It's really good just for uh, usability. We've got all of our switch panels. Of course, the G1000 is here, fully functional. So you can go full direct to, res procedure approach, etc fuel tanks. Real Sing Gear products are unbelievable. Virtual Fly, unbelievable. We have the, um, the Virtual Fly Ruto Plus pedals and the Virtual Fly Yoko Yoke. Um, next level racing seat. Now, normally we go with like a Real Sing Gear seat, which a little bit higher quality. However, we need to pass the through this full seat belt tensioner uh, headset. So you can do full ATC communications here. So there's a really cool software called Say Intentions, which is chat GPT based. And so if B right now is flying and he wanted to do ATC, he could put this on and actually talk to pretty much every ground tower center in the, in the entire world, pretty much. I'd say probably 90% of airports. Um, for x playing, we have the instructor station here. So again, we're at a private hangar right now. There's a runway, paved runway here on a thousand acre farm. Our client has two adult kids who both own aircraft and they want to stay proficient to continue to train. And so now they can have their instructor come through for different scenarios, you know, fuel pump goes bad or the engine sputtering or change the weather for different crosswind approaches. The instructor can do that straight from the station. Now right now we're in Microsoft 2024. Uh, and so you get the amazing graphics and it's still very accurate, but x is by far the most technically accurate. That's why there's an only FAA reading software at this farm, um, at least on the consumer side. Um, one other thing, PC. All of our flight systems right now have 4090, 128 gigs of RAM for all of our 60 US systems with the triple large displays, liquid cooled, uh, i9 14th gen. However, in the next month or two, and it's the end of January right now, 425, we will be upgrading every system of this level to a 5090, and even like our 3 DOS will be a uh, 5080. So. The 5080 with DLSS apparently outperforms the 4090. So for us, we want the best of the best. We want the highest frame rate possible so we can run ultra graphics on every software close to it. Um, and uh, it's just a turnkey process. So me, Dakar is filming, Pete, we just finished this install, both of these systems. It's five o'clock in the morning and uh, it's just what our team does to, to make sure that the process is, is set up. And so we're gonna go sleep. And then we're going to train the client on how to use the system. So I've started off how to contact us for remote support. So if anyone has any issues, any questions, something doesn't work right, or you forget something, our team can assist with that. Uh, and so, yeah, hope you guys like it. We'll cut some B-roll and uh, we'll see you on the next one.